Hi there, students. A cunctator. A cunctator. Okay, this is a person who delays, who procrastinates. Never do today what you can put off until tomorrow. A cunctator. Somebody who's always delaying, a procrastinator. Then you have cunctatory. Prone to delaying. So, the legal process is very cunctatory. Eh? The cunctatory legal process almost makes, m makes it something that is impossible to use. Um, okay, so cunctator, cunctatious, delaying, cunctatorship, the, fa the um, concept of delaying. So, to procrastinate, cunctation. I think we're all uh, prone to cunctation. We always like to put things off, particularly out of laziness or maybe out of, uh, uh, out of uh, carelessness. It's not good to put things off. I think we ought to do today everything that we can do today. Yeah, cunctation is 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 not is not a good thing. It's not not a good thing. Uh, delaying until uh, uh, until tomorrow. Sometimes, as a strategy, cunctation is a good thing, and it's best not to act immediately. Perhaps if you're negotiating the price of something, um, cunctation is a very good process because the more you cunctate the more the vendor thinks oh I'm not going to sell it I better reduce the price okay so a cunctator somebody who habitually postpones work who perpetually delays because they're lazy yeah a postponer a delayer a person who always puts off until later who makes things late Okay, so a cunctator, a delayer, um, somebody who postpones things, somebody who lingers, who takes longer than, than necessary, um, somebody who delays things, who, keeps, who, who makes the process as slow as possible. Um, okay, so to, to, to not do things... Um, as as quickly as possible to leave leave things uh, undone to delay um, now uh, firstly I think the formality of this is quite a formal word um, now the origin itself is actually very interesting the of origin comes from Quintus Fabius Maximus Verrucosus Wow, what a mouthful of a name. No, he was a Roman general uh, about uh, 200 be before Christ. And um, his, uh, na his, his surname was Cunctator, Cunctator. Now, he was the general in charge of fighting Hannibal uh, in the Second Punic War. And... Um, Fabius Cunctator had a great problem that Hannibal was a very good general. He had much better uh, forces and he knew that if he confronted Hannibal directly, he was going to get, get kicked. So um, Fabius Cunctator, he, start, he, started, but he started to harass the enemy supply line. He started guerrilla warfare, and in many in in many people regard him as the inventor of guerrilla war. I think at that time the thing to do was to go out and face the enemy directly. But if you know you're going to lose, that's not the thing to do. So it, he he was using this slow tactic of harassing the enemy, of giving the enemy um, pro problems, only accepting small engagements rather than a direct confrontation. And this is, th this is why this word now comes, it comes into, uh, in, into play. Um, we have the Latin word cunctor, to delay, to impede. Um, cunctatio, a delaying. 
yeah, a procrastination. So, uh, get, effectively, he was um, Fabius the uh, procrastinator, but um, in fact, he was very successful in w what he did, and uh, I think it worked very well. So, a cunctator. Now, you're going to want some formality. I think I'm going to give this a 7 informality. This is another of these words that most people probably won't know. Um, but it's a good word, good word to use. Use in a semi-formal conversation, just about. Use in a semi-formal or formal writing. Um, it, it, it's a fun word, it's an interesting word, it's got lot, lots of history to it. So I think that's enough. I think... Uh, I, I ought to get, move on to the end. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Cunctator, cunctation, cunctatory, cunctatorship.